celebrating Ireland's culture, heritage, and history. This is a celebration quite literally years in the making. Today marks the return of Toronto's St. Patrick's Day Parade after two very long years. 4,000 people are taking part in the parade, winding through three and a half kilometers of the downtown core, with thousands more decked out in green, lining the sidewalks for a glimpse of the floats and marching bands. You know, the St. Patrick's Day was shut down in March 2020. Uh, we didn't have a parade in 21, so this is our first parade in two years, and I think the people are excited. Well, I grew up in Ireland, so I've lived here for 11 years, and since we have kids, we wanted to bring them down to show them the Irish spirit. What's your favourite part of the parade? The, the people that drive the cars. The people that drive the cars. What about you, your favourite part? The horses. I think it's all the animals and all the people that are like giving the stuff like this. So what brings you out today? Oh, just excitement for the kid, that's all. Just to watch some fire trucks and police officers and marching bands. To celebrate the return of the parade, Mayor John Tory has proclaimed today as St. Patrick's Day number two in 2022. And Toronto Fire is collecting donations along the parade route for the Daily Bread Food Bank. Anyone can just bring out donations? Um, anyone. Any, there's tap, debit, you can pay debit or you can pay cash. We got boots, we got buckets. <laughs> Toronto, Michelle Mackey, City News.